Hello, Pink Physiques ladies. I am here with Shauna Kay and Miss Sylvia Favela, and they are going to share with us some of our the best belly flattening techniques or exercises. So I'll let y'all go first. We'll let Shauna, since she's in the middle, she's the she's belly a, expert. Whenever. Well, I am author of the book Lose Your Menopause Belly. So these tips are specifically for women over 40 or over 50 and beyond. Although, honestly, they will work if you're 20 or 30. I Absolutely. mean, you'll never have an issue right. when you're 40 or 50 if you <laughs> exactly. use these tips. And it breaks my heart when I go into a, any kind of gym or when I hear people say that I, I run on a treadmill, I just do like long cardio uh, in the hopes of getting a flat belly. Because cardio will not, if it takes you to your happy place, then you absolutely should do it. But it will not give you the body of your dreams. I can go on for hours, which I will not. <laughs> on, like studies show so that it true, is the right. least it's effective um, method of fat loss. So we need to stop the cardio and increase metabolic resistance training, which is a fancy way of just saying muscle toning and cardio burst type exercises. So that's my one tip, and then I'll let Sylvia tell yours, and then we have an, we all three have agree a, on our last on tip our last together. <laughs> so my tip is variation. You know, sometimes uh, women think, I'm just gonna do 100 sit-ups and expect to get the same results. Like, okay, I'm just gonna do this every single day and expect to have a flat belly. Well, no, you wanna make a change slightly, change up that workout, but you wanna make sure that you are doing it on a daily basis. So that's the biggest thing is, you can't keep doing the same thing and expect the you know different results. So my biggest tip is vary up those ab workouts. You know, with Pilates workouts, they're so very different. It hit, you know you may be doing one thing thinking it's not using your abs, but it actually is. But it's varying that workout up. That's yeah. all right. I would say. <laughs> Now, yeah. you, now the tip that we all agree. The one we all agree. All agree. Well, we all agree on this. Like yes. I agree on yeah. that. Yeah. It's yeah. not that yeah. we disagree, but yeah. this right. one is yeah. paramount. This, this is one. this. Yeah. All right. So abs are made in the kitchen. We've heard this, <laughs> right? And um, so I'm going to kind of pick on. Um, one of the things that I have ladies that come to me that they say that they want a flat belly and then I look at what they're eating and they're drinking three to four glasses of wine a night and that is one or sodas that's one such so little not easy thing but it's one thing that can make such a huge, huge difference, difference. in your belly up, cutting li back cutting yes liquid calories liquid calories so. yeah exactly and my suggestion as far as nutrition goes is I always talk about the one change challenge, choose one thing. And I just want to shout out to one of my clients who took the sugar out of her coffee mm -hmm. and she's lost, she's 59 and she's lost 50 pounds. And it started, she, it started with that one change. So, you know, choose something nutritionally like liquid calories or sugar in your in your coffee or those 100 calorie snack yes. bags right. like yep. that. It's like, oh, it's only 100 calories. Like choose one thing nutritionally and make that change. And then let that stick for a week or two weeks and then choose another nutritional change. Don't do too many things at once. And I would say is to eat. Usually yes. what happens yes. is I, <laughs> Thank that, you, that's Sylvia. the thing is to eat because working with my clients, I look at what they're eating supposedly and they're not eating. They're having one cup of coffee for the whole day and then mm. they'll have maybe another one before they go to bed. They're like, oh, no, 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 I'm not eating. But then they wonder why they're so bloated, why they are just having this gut just sitting there. So my advice is you have to eat, but you yeah. have to eat whole foods, nutritious foods. Right. So that is the most important thing because women, we're, we're guilty. We don't want to eat because we're afraid we're going to gain weight and we're sure. afraid we're going to have like these thick thighs and butt and belly. So, And it just eat. crashes your yes, metabolism. It does. So actually does. eating raises your metabolism. It but does. it's kind of the, the the right things and honestly people know like it's not rocket science right. you actually know the things that you should probably eat whole foods vegetables lean yes. lean meats you know uh, complex carbohydrates don't get stuck in the minutia of oh should I be keto should I be yes. this should yes. I be that it's, it's like confusing. listen to your appetite mm -hmm. and use a bit of common sense and then fine-tune it from there but sometimes we just get so overwhelmed with everything that it's just like oh to heck I'm not gonna try anything and right. then we're drinking wine right. and yep. you know and then you don't implement any changes, any changes right and you're so. just sabotaging everything because you don't know yeah. you even know what to do so yeah and I, have to, I mean I know for me I have to eat before I work out like that's just yes. something my body like I'm not gonna get a good workout if I don't eat energized right, you need before energy. and I see so many ladies that come in and they just haven't eaten and who knows how long right. and then they're trying to go into the gym and and get a good workout and it's just 
that fuel for our bodies is so exactly. huge. Exactly. It's huge. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, so I hope that helps y'all. Liquid calories. Make eat, sure to eat. Eat whole foods. <laughs> yeah. And then your Super. other tip was variation. Yes. Variation. Yeah, Mine was up. stop the cardio, do more muscle toning, cardio Watch. burst type exercises. Yeah. And for those that work out the pink, we do that in our training workouts. That's exactly Absolutely. the type of workouts that we do. And they work. It, it works. It works. Okay. The proof is in the pudding. Yep. All right. All right. Mwah, mwah. See y'all soon. Bye.